everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Lenina Kazawa here, and today we're going to be getting into some VTuber newsy news. But before we do, make sure to smash subscribe, hit the like, ring the bell, and come join me on Twitch. So yes, come join me on Twitch if you want to see some unhinged, hilarious Lydia chat. Okay, on to our very first piece of newsy news. This is Ina. So Ina is a female English-speaking virtual YouTuber associated with Hololive as part of Hololive English first generation myth. So why are we talking about Ina? Well, guys, we've had some not great things happen to Ina. This is posted on Ina's Twitter slash X account. And Ina says, hi, guys, I have a bit of bad news. I really tried and I really fought for it. But due to the company's internal logistical issues, I will not be able to post on social media, stream, etc. until further notice. There were a lot of things I was planning, a lot of things I was participating in, but I most likely will have to cancel everything for the time being. I'm really upset but there's nothing I can do right now. I'm sorry I can't give you a more detailed explanation at the moment, but I will hopefully be able to talk again once I fly home sometime next week. I'm sorry again for the inconvenience. So then this is posted from Hololive Production on their Twitter slash X account and says, Notice, as Ina has mentioned, we are working to fix some unforeseen logistical issues that are unfortunately affecting her streaming and social media activities. Ina's manager will be temporarily operating her social media account on her behalf to communicate with her fans until they are resolved. We're sorry for any inconvenience or confusion this brings you all and we'll have things running as usual again soon. Okay, so then Ina continues her tweet to say, Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'll talk to you guys sometime next week. It's important in the VTuber sphere to not break immersion. However, it's very obvious that there is a human being on the other side of every VTuber. Of course, if you're an AI, then that's a different story. So um, we have a little bit of a clue of what happened here. So once I fly home sometime next week, if we're going to put two and two together, obviously, because it's very vague and it's not super obvious. It looks like Ina's visa is perhaps not renewed. So it looks like uh, Hollow is working on that. So until that's been fixed, obviously Ina has to return home because I believe Ina's working from Japan, but is not a Japanese citizen. Essentially, she has to fly home because usually for a visa, you're only given a certain amount of time to work with. And once that time has exceeded, you have to return back to your home base. So essentially, that seems like what's happened with Ina. Uh, obviously, they can't outrightly say that on her socials or on Hololive. But um, so so this this tweet kind of gives us a little bit more of what exactly is happening. So fans of Ina, do not fret. Um, this is just obviously a logistical issue that has to be taken care of because, you know, governments work slow. People who, who issue visas work slow and very bureaucratic process. So let's see what the good people on Reddit got to say. Cogstar says... I think she previously said she thought she'd be in Japan until the end of the year. So yeah, it definitely sounds like a visa thing. Apixel says presumably a visa thing, tweeting, streaming, etc. would be considered working. And if she somehow got the wrong visa, that would likely violate the terms of it. Don't worry, Ina is still around. It just she has to take a little bit of a, I guess, like a forced break, but not because of anything she did or not uh, anything about the company. It's just actually just... The human side of things. Okay, on to our next piece of newsy news is Production Kawaii. So Production Kawaii, or simply known as Kawaii, is a Japanese-based English VTuber agency. Their aim is to spread the culture of Kawaii, which has been developed in Japan through media, to the world and make it a universal language. Uh, okay, so why are we talking about Production Kawaii today? Well, guys, we got some bad news. Uh, this is posted on the Virtual YouTuber subreddit posted by Xerox saying Production Kawaii is shutting down. So this is a statement that was made on their Twitter slash X account. And it said, end of service for Production Kawaii. Thank you very much for your continuous support of Production Kawaii and our affiliated talents. We would like to inform that Production Kawaii will cease operations as of November 30th, 2024. After much consideration, we have come to the decision to cease our activities as it would be difficult to maintain the current structure and continue to operate the agency and support our talents. We would like to apologize to everyone who has supported us our affiliated talents, and all related parties for this regretful conclusion. As for the 15 affiliated talents from December 1st, 2024, there will be no changes to their channels or social media accounts, and they will continue their individual VTuber activities. Production Kawaii will continue to be open to all inquiries until November 30th, 2024, so please contact us via the website or XDMs for any inquiries. For information on each talent's activities after December 1st, 2024, Please be sure to check for updates on their streams and social media accounts. And this is regarding announced event appearances and concerts. Event appearances and solo concerts are officially announced 
by October 9th, 2024 will be held as scheduled. Regarding merchandise, sale of merchandise currently being sold by Production Kawaii will be taken off shelves on November 30th, 2024. Please rest assured that Production Kawaii will continue to take full responsibility for delivering all merchandise scheduled to be shipped after November 30th, 2024. We sincerely appreciate your support for our talents as they navigate their activities in the future. It sounds like closing up shop on November 30th, but it seems like all of the uh, VTubers are maintaining their IPs and their social media accounts, which is good. See what the good people on Reddit got to say about this. So Swift Sife says all 15 talents are going independent. The girls will be fine. Models and channels and socials will not change. This is honestly the best possible outcome for all of them. I have to agree, right? I mean, it's always nice when a business goes belly up. They're like, you know what, here. Here, take the business assets. There are more of use to you than they are of us. So it's nice that they're not like, everything's going down with us. Z Gamer says, so within the last roughly half a year, Prism Project shut down. Idol Corp got acquired by Brave Group. And now Production Kawaii is shutting down. And those are just the agencies I know of. 2024 has been a brutal year for the VTuber agency scene. I have to agree. Yeah. With all of the announcement streams posting, this is expected. Still, a long-standing agency has fallen, so I think it's safe to say the bubble has finally burst for VTubing. Any that survive at this point is because they already saw this coming and prepared for it. I hope I'm not coming off as too negative, but I do have some genuine concern for the talents when they go fully independent in December. Rogue Jen says, I was afraid this was going to happen. First Cyber Live, then Sundaria, Prism Project, and now Production Kawaii. All those early VTuber startups are going away. Face Connect is the only one left from the early days. At least they'll be able to keep their models, channels, etc. So, I mean, it does kind of suck. Yeah, I mean, like as much as we crap on you know, corporate VTubing, there are some corporations that aren't super evil. But when the ones that aren't evil go down, it kind of makes you sad. You're like, oh, no, only the evil ones survive. No, it's definitely sad when you see like a good company go. But at least everyone gets to keep their IP. At least they get to continue. Sometimes it feels like maybe like the, the horrible corporations survive because of how much they exploit their talents. It's kind of sickening. It really makes you a little bit sad because you really want talents to be treated well and you want you know uh good companies and when they go under it kind of makes you kind of makes you a little bit bummed but anyways um at least everyone gets to keep their ip and at least they get to continue their streaming career and and that asset doesn't get buried under a bunch of red tape and stuff like that so please go support all the all the girls from project kawaii they definitely need your help at this time Okay, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Kunai Nakasato. And Kunai Nakasato was a female virtual YouTuber affiliated with Niji Sanji's Ninth Wave TTT. Kunai became Sunny Explosion, who is now an indie. Okay, so this is a video that says, uh, Sunny returns from Niji Ian, explains her health problems during. So let's take a listen, shall we? Okay. Explain yourself, where did you go? I've been okay. Yeah, I went on a heist and uh, I completed the heist and I came back. I kind of had some health problems. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to figure out what happened. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna show the pictures because they're really disgusting. Oh dear. I developed a lot of problems with my, with first my right hand. Uh oh. I basically took a plane ride i went uh -huh. on a plane and you know for most people that's fine they go on a plane but i went on a plane and i have a negative 10 luck stat of the blood clot <gasps> and i did and i went to the hospital uh -oh. and i got nerve damage from it oh no i had really bad swelling and nerve damage uh oh something called crps so that sucked and complex regional better. pain I syndrome got, like, back in, whoa medications. Been i got back injections though and they were, like, wow it works and i was like oh okay so after three months i was like it's clearing back. up so, and then I started getting like joint knee pain. So I went to the doctor and they were like, ah, oh, rheumatoid arthritis. It's like, that never goes away. So I was like, what do we do doc? And she's like, here, I'm gonna give you medication. So I, I take that medication. Uh -huh. I, I'm not feeling so good. Uh -oh. And emergency room. Oops. Oh no. Reaction. <laughs> For just months on wow. where I was in a lot of pain, but I'm better. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is horrible. Oh my God. Poor Sunny. Poor Sunny. It's terrible. Um, well, at least she has kind of recovered. But yeah, okay, that explains a lot, actually. That explains a lot. I mean, like, sometimes you don't know what's happening behind the scenes. It's it's nice when, when a VTuber lifts the veil and kind of tells us what's going on. Because then you can kind of have a better understanding of what's going on. So anyway, Sunny, thank you so much for sharing your story. Wow, that is insane. Oh my goodness, poor thing. On to our next piece of newsy news. So if you don't know who Idol is... Idol is a VTuber production company that has been absorbed by Brave Group, right? So they had some problems of just not shipping some of their orders from 2023. So it looks like they do have an update. So let's take a let's take a read through and see what's going on. 
Okay, so Idol says announcement regarding the shipment of Idol's unshipped products from 2023. Dear valued customers, we would like to sincerely apologize for the delay in shipping your orders from 2023. We are pleased to inform you that we have now begun shipping the remaining products. We appreciate your patience and would like to bring your attention to a few important points regarding this process. Number one, orders will be fulfilled sequentially within October by our partners at WeBeNet. Please note that you will receive an email from them allowing you to make sure that your shipping details are correct and up to date. Number two, for customers whose products are not shipped by the end of October, refunds will be processed starting in November. Number three, for customers who previously experienced a failed refund, if you would like your order to be shipped, please contact us by October 10th at 2059 PDT. Thank you for your understanding and continued support. Brave Group US team. So it looks like here is uh, some boxes of some merch uh, that they are that are shipping out. And some okay, this looks like some checkies here. It looks like that's what's being sent out. And then if you haven't gotten it, then I guess a refund will be processed. While great, it also kind of sucks because like if you wanted a refund, you would have applied for a refund back when all of the shenanigans started, right? So the fact that they weren't, they still kind of weren't able to fulfill what they promised does suck. It does suck for the people who were waiting a long time. I mean, like, come on. It's been like a whole year. Come on. So anyways, um, it's just so bizarre. It's just like, come on. Like, how difficult is it to put something in a package and ship it off? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, guys, so that's just that's just an update on what's happening with Idol um, and their and their unshipped products from 2023. Okay, next piece of newsy news. This is Doki Bird. Doki Bird is an independent English language VTuber. I'm always a fan of Doki. What is Doki up to? This is posted on Twitter slash X from Dead Air and says, announcement, our mystery guest is Doki Bird herself. Woo! Oh my goodness. And it says, also shining in the competition will be Team Hollow Stars. So it's Doki and Team Hollow Stars. It's like, man, what a collab. So Team Hollow Stars, if you don't know, Team Hollow is like the male Hollow Live peeps. This is the post on the Kurosanji subreddit posted by Savings Bar. It says, interesting Doki collab. Uh, this collab will likely get the sisters to see. So when they say the sisters, they mean the Niji sisters because they're like, Wada! anytime, anytime Doki does anything and like, you know, Doki like, you know, like looks on, looks on the floor. They're like, oh my God, Doki's looking beneath us. You know, it's just like stupid stuff. Let's see what the good people on Reddit got to say. Okay. And the robot says, Doki, one of the boys bird. And hot dog says, hey, can't wait for this tomorrow or the next day. Haunting says, bro, let them see the Doki earn this. We'll see how it turns out. Hopefully some ha-has come from it. Anyways, but yeah, there you go. See, that's so playing nice. Playing nice on the internet. See, Doki, excellent. Good on Doki. She is incredible. Nyam, nyam. On to our next piece of newsy news. This is Ruby Runehart from Idol ES. So Idol ES is the Spanish branch of Idol. So Ruby says, YouTube removed the ASMR. So it says here, hi, Ruby Runehart. It looks like ASMR, I love you, repeat until you feel love, te amo, didn't follow community guidelines. To help keep our community safe, we removed it from YouTube. It looks like YouTube did not enjoy it and they have since removed it from YouTube. So it does suck. A lot of ASMR VTubers are getting removed. Is this new information? No, but it still sucks. It still sucks when it happens, right? Cause you're like, come on, like YouTube is like such a big platform. They, they have a monopoly, right? So like there's no, there's been no other giant juggernaut competitor to YouTube, right? So when a content creator gets removed from YouTube, it does suck. It does suck because you're like discoverability in the VTuber sphere is so difficult. So like usually VTubers post on these big platforms like YouTube, like Twitch to get more discoverability, right? But when you get removed, it's like, well, where am I supposed to go? It's very frustrating. Anyway, so Ruby, I'm terribly sorry that happened to you. And uh, and a lot of other ASMR VTubers have been suffering the same fate. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is a post on the virtual YouTuber subreddit by Xenomorph555. And, and it says, Face Connect has opened auditions for Gen 4. So this is posted on Twitter slash X. So if you go to the Face Connect's uh, Twitter, it says, Face Connect auditions. The Phase Invaders auditions have been finalized. Thank you all for applying. Please look forward to meeting the new invaders soon. General auditions for our next generation of talents are also open. Please see link below for more details. And this is the audition form. Okay, okay, it is a Google document. However, however, hopefully they don't do the big oopsie like Brave did. If you want to be part of Face Connect, that is how you do it, guys. So there you go. Face Connect is pretty non-problematic company. They have some 
interesting talents, <laughs> but you could be part of the roster. Yeah, let's see what the good people on Reddit got to say. Xenomorph says, good luck to anyone that applies. As usual, put your best foot forward and hide your power level. Also be aware that probably you won't be debuting until late 2025, going by Gen 2 and Gen 3. Uh, Asuka says, needs, <laughs> needs more sad girls. Mothman says, more mentally ill women for the coffee store. Huzzah! <laughs> oh my goodness. And then Niji Spy says, I'm curious if Fishman would ever open auditions for male presenting VTubers. I don't think it would work well with their concept, but I, it'd be interesting to hear his thoughts on it. Okay, so yeah, so there you go. So if you wanted to take a shot at Phase Connect, now is the chance. Now is your time, okay? So put your best foot forward. You can do it. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is just like a recap of what we talked about yesterday. So if you remember, Leah Kitty said uh, Twitch has now confirmed that VTuber hips must be covered. This was part of notes that they had released. All right, so on Steam, there is this game called... Warudo. And Warudo is a flexible and personalized 3D VTubing software you've always wanted. What does what does this have to do with this? So this is a screenshot of Twitch's own rule. So it says the entire policy applies to VTubers in the same way it applies to other streamers. Yeah, buttocks, hips, female presented nipples, and underbust must be covered at all times on general streams. These guidelines apply to VTuber models, but not video game characters, including those uploaded into games such as VR chat. Here's where it says the guideline applies, but not to video game characters. Okay, this is this is the caveat here, right? So then Leaf says, what if you use Warudo, but set the game to VR chat, set background to VR chat map, boom. So perhaps this is a workaround here. You're like, okay, that's pretty genius. That's pretty genius. So you know who agrees? Wadaroo themselves. They said, we officially endorse this approach. If this is what you need to get past Twitch's censorship, we couldn't care less. If your viewers confuse us with VR chat, we're here to help you create 3D content. Shino says, just know that intentionally miscategorizing your content on Twitch repeatedly is a bannable offense. So if it does happen, don't Pikachu face when it does. So then Warido says, unless the streamer explicitly mentions it, there is a near zero chance a Twitch admin can distinguish VR chat left from Warudo on the right, especially with FBT setups. If anyone gets banned for using Warudo, we will donate 5K to cover their legal counsel. So that is an absolutely incredible statement there. They are they are so sure. They're like, you know what? You know what? Like, I feel like this is definitely this is definitely a, a W. Uh while Rudo, they're they're absolutely incredible. Um, because this very likely could happen with Twitch's new censorship rules. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. You know, sometimes when a company just fails so much. So, anyways, this is Fansley. So Fansley, if you're not sure what it is, it says it's a subscription-based social media platform. Interact with fans, sell content, and build a community. So this is so Fansley, they don't have a lot of rules, if you know what I mean. Anyways, so Fansley says, uh, show all the VTuber hips you want on Fansley. So uh, Fansley's like, hey, VTubers, come over here because we, we don't have any restrictions. Come over here. We'll treat you good. So anyways, I thought that that was a very good PR move. Whoever runs the Fansley Twitter account, fantastic work. LOL. All right, on to our next season, Newsy News. So this is Sayu. It's posted on her Twitter slash X account. Sayu says, Twitch fears this and this and... Yeah, my pants are see-through. I wonder if that counts. Technically, I don't think it would because the hips are up here and the hips are not covered. Therefore, probably Twitch would be upset by this outfit. Definitely, uh, Sayu's shorts do not comply with the Twitch's new terms of service, but it's still a very nice pair of shorts. All right, on to our next piece of news. This is Ebby. Uh, Ebby says, remember when I was banned for seven days on my first offense because someone drew a on garlic foam that looked like a hairy hot dog bun that's crazy so here is uh here a news piece that Ebby wanted to share saying twitch streamer banned for having sex while live unbanned after seven days it's comparing apples to oranges guys you know like it's it's really unfair how vtubers are treated on the platform Whereas IRL streamers can like do shenanigans like this and be unbanned for seven days whereas like literally when you're playing Gardic Phone, this is this is the reason why I stopped playing Gardic Phone on stream. Just because sometimes you can't really control what other people are doing, right? So so Gardic Phone is one of those things where people can draw inappropriate pictures and do inappropriate prompts. So it's not really 
Ebby's fault what happened. It does suck just because sometimes there are people who are just bad actors, right? And, you know, it's not really fair. Anyways, but yeah, it just it just seems really ridiculous that like this can happen. Anyways, yeah, I just thought that this was dumb and Ebby, yeah. On to our next piece of newsy news. This is Momotex. Momotex is a female Argentinian VTuber and streamer, and she made her official debut on February 14th, 2021. Okay, so why are we talking about Momotex? Well, we got some rough news for Mo from Momotex too. So this is posted on her Twitter slash X account. Momotex says, I want to express my sincere gratitude to you all for the immense support you've shown the release trailer of Colonel Hearts. It makes me so happy to see people engaging with it, being excited about it. The development team deserves it after putting their whole heart into this project. On a sadder note, I will be initiating an indefinite hiatus on my streaming activities due to mental and physical health concerns. This year has been particularly challenging, and I don't believe I can provide the entertainment you guys deserve with my current situation. Losing my cat was devastating for me, and it feels like everything in my life went into shambles after that. I find myself trapped in a repetitive cycle of barely leaving my home, alternating between excessive sleeping and drawing and binging on food or barely eating at all. After years of trying to pick myself back up, I feel like I've fallen back into a dark hole, considering harmful situations on myself daily. Link's situation has been very traumatic for me, making me wonder about my health constantly and how suddenly anyone can disappear in the blink of an eye. Existing has been mentally tiring. This Friday, I'm going for a month to Japan with friends that a change of scenery will help me take my mind off things at least for a little while. I feel incredibly grateful for this opportunity. It's just sad that even though I have so many loving people in my life, I still find myself feeling lonely every day. I just wanted to clarify, I'm not writing this to seek sympathy or anything. I just want to keep my community on track about my situation and avoid it disappearing suddenly. I will work hard into getting better so that next year I can come back into streaming with a better version of myself. If I do end up streaming again after my Japan trip, there might be some random and sporadic quiet drawing sessions without any intention other than keeping myself afloat. Thank you for understanding. Keep on smiling. Not a goodbye, but a see you later. Momotech. It looks like Momotech is taking a hiatus due to some mental health. It's one of these things that it's so prevalent in the VTuber industry. Mental health struggles is a really, it's really difficult. And and for, for you to speak on it is, is very brave. So Momotech, I hope that the Japan trip helps and take all the time you need because man, that it, it's, it's, it sucks. It's hard. Momo says, I thought for a long time if I wanted to post this because of the stigma that depression has on people, but I believe it's necessary to talk about these things out loud. I love all my friends and community a ton. I'm sorry for not being able to keep up sometimes. And so Yeno says, big hugs, Momochi. We're going to have the best time in Japan. And Tyra says, do, cake, do take care. Techie says, please take care, Momo. I know it can be really tough. Mental health is not always plain and simple. I hope your trip helps you heal and you make lots of good memories and enjoy yourself there. Take things easy. Don't be too hard on yourself. I'm rooting for you. If this teaches us anything, guys, it's always to support your Oshis while you can because this isn't forever, okay? So Momotex, we're wishing you all the best and hopefully you have a fun time on your trip and you're able to regroup and, and feel better soon. All right, guys, that is the end of the VTuber Newsy News. However, we do have someone for the VTuber Spotlight. I chose this person specifically because they are immune to the Twitch clothing terms of service. Why? Because they are a skeleton. <laughs> well, this is Mero. Mero is a variety streamer and a music maker. So this is Mero on Twitter slash X. This is Mero on Twitch. Uh, so full name is Mero Mage. And this is just a funny, this is a funny clip. Let's just watch it together. Okay, hold on. Mero Mage is definitely number one boat. Yes. Just ask your mother. I just thought that was really funny because, yeah, he's a skeleton. Even though he has hips, they're technically part of his skeleton. So anyways, I just thought that was really funny. So go support go support Mero Mage on Twitch. And this is their Twitter. Okay, guys, that's it. That's the end of the VTuber Newsy News. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day. Take care. Bye-bye. so much for watching the video. Shout out to my patrons that help make these videos possible. If you want to help support the channel, you can always join me at Patreon, subscribe to me on Twitch, or become a member on YouTube. I also have links to merch in the description below. As always, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!